begin. Berman University uh, would like to acknowledge that it is located within hereditary indigenous land and acknowledges that the land on which we gather is Treaty 6 territory. Established in 1876, the traditional home and meeting ground for many First Nations peoples, including the Blackfoot, Denny, Cree, and Métis. Berman University is committed to doing its part to address the legacy of broken promises and rebuild productive partnership relationships between Indigenous and non-Indigenous peoples in Central Alberta and across Canada. So today, the different things that we'll be covering uh, in our presentation will be ways that you as a student can get involved at Berman, some of the student clubs that we do offer. And then after, as I said, you'll be able to meet some of our current students that are super involved on our campus. And you're able to ask them some questions and gain some answers and insight from them. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Melody and I am the student life advisor. Essentially, what I get to do is I get to work with students and make sure that they're having pretty much a, a really well-rounded student experience. For those that don't want to just be all about academics, I help out with a lot of the leadership on this campus. So if you want to know about ways to get involved, you can definitely contact me at my office and we'll definitely find a way to get you involved in something that you're interested in. So some of the ways that people get involved is they are part of our athletics teams. On campus, we have a men's and women's basketball team, a men's and women's volleyball team, a men's and women's indoor soccer team, and a men's and women's futsal team. Futsal is almost like soccer. They actually have a tournament this coming weekend. We also have our Acroneers, which is our acrobatics team, and they actually get to do a home show and travel they usually do some kind of a tour, and they're one of the teams that gets to do that. We also have ways that you can get involved with music. You can join our Choral Union Choir, directed by Dr. Wendell Monroe. We also have a, another choir called Ubuntu, which was started by one of our alumnus, um, Pastor Romando Carey, and he still actually comes onto campus and volunteers his time to make sure that Ubuntu can, can continue on. And I, I know that a lot of our students are really blessed by this ministry as well as being a part of it. They also travel to, to different places and perform in different places. They actually have a concert coming up at the end of this month um, on February 25th. If you would like to attend, you can. It will be a live stream concert uh, during one of our Vespers programs. Again, that's on February 25th, and it'll start at 7.30 p.m. Alberta time. They are amazing students with amazing talent, and so I would really suggest that you come out uh, and actually hear them if you can, especially online. We also have our orchestra, and we also have many praise groups that people can get involved with. I know that there are people who are part of our panel that are involved in praise groups as well, as in other areas such as campus ministries. Campus ministries is another way that you can get involved on our campus. Uh, through campus ministries, you can become a worship coordinator, you can do missions, you can be um, part of our Sabbath school team, our AY team. We have something called House of Praise, which I'm hoping Maritas will talk about later on when we have our, our Q&A with our panel, as well as we have the opportunity to go onto one of the reserves that's not too far, from a reserve area, sorry, called Masquachis that is not too far from campus. And we actually do weekly um, Sabbath lessons with, with the kids there. So it's almost like running VBS every week. And a lot of those kids, that's what they look forward to the most during their week. So it's really such a blessing and in many different ways for our students to be able to get involved in something uh, like that. We also have leadership opportunities. You can be part of our student association executive. We actually have our student association elections happening at the beginning of next month. And so right now students are trying to um, figure out their campaign strategy if they are running. We also have our student senate. We have about 10 or 11 senators. If I'm not mistaken, Danelia can correct me later because she is our executive vice president and she'll be able to tell you more about our student senate. And there are different ways that the Student Senate actually provides um, the, I guess, the, the, the correlation or they are a way for students to communicate 
uh, to administration and to the SA about some of the things that they would like to see in their specific areas. We also have SWAT. SWAT stands for our Student Welcome Affirmation Team. Uh, the cool thing about SWAT is these are the students that our first year students, our new students, hopefully all of you that are here uh, will get to meet uh, right off the bat. These are students that are going to welcome you onto campus. If you have any questions, they have no problem answering those questions. And they're also here so that they can hopefully introduce you to what campus life can be a little bit more about. Then we also have our dorm RAs and student deans. Uh, these are students that um, are in their positions because they've been found to be responsible people and people that our student body can, can go to. So whenever you might feel a little homesick or even if you're not feeling well, being able to even talk about some of the things that's happening with classes in school with your RAs and student deans, I know is very valuable for a lot of our students on our campus. So just having almost like that big brother or big sister uh, that you can kind of go to and be like, hey, what should I do about this um, situation? Or what should I do about this professor? Uh, a lot of them have that wisdom that, where they can help you out in that. And we also have clubs on our campus. There are many different clubs um, and you can be an executive member or just a regular member of any of those clubs. And if we don't have a club that you want to start, it is easy to start a club on our campus. We highly encourage our students that if they feel hey, I think Berman could use this club, I'd say, let's do it. Let's start this club so then you can um, be invested into, into part of your experience here. For example, we just had a student start a reading club this year. So every month, the reading club chooses a book that they, that they read. And at the end of that month, they actually get together and they discuss that book and some of the insights that they found from it. We've also started a chess club on our campus recently. And we have other clubs such as cultural clubs, which I'm sure our student panel will be able to, to help talk to you about because a lot of them are, are part of some of these clubs and have taken leadership in them as well. So right now, I would like to open the floor to any questions that, that you guys might have. Uh, we do have our student panel here. I would like to, for them to introduce themselves to you. Um, so I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask each person on the panel, uh, why don't we go in alphabetical order by first name? I'm going to make them think about, about that one. I want you guys to state your name, state your major, what year you are, uh, where you're from, and some stuff that you're involved with on campus. Hi everyone, my name is Denamia Frey. I am a second year secondary education student with a major in social studies and a minor in math. Um, although yes, I'm residing in Lacombe right now, I'm from Ontario, but before that from Jamaica and England. And what are you involved in a little bit, Denamia? There we go. Um, I'm one of the BUSA executives. I serve as the executive vice president, um, which is second to our president. And then I'm also in charge of our student senators, um, which is a beautiful responsibility to have um, amazing leaders who are willing to advocate for students, no matter what department of the school they are a part of. Awesome. Next, Jackie. Hey guys, I'm Jackie. I am a third year elementary education student with a minor in PE. And I'm originally from Abbotsford, BC, but I've been living here, including in the summers, for the last two years in the comb. And some of the things I've been involved in different things over the years, just kind of rotating, trying out new experiences. But currently, what I'm involved in this year is I'm an RA at the Lakeview dorms so fun such a great community here and some of the other things I'm involved in this year are the sports teams I'm on the basketball team the volleyball team and I'm participating in the futsal tournament this weekend super fun and also I am in choir thanks Jackie JML Hi guys so my name is JML I'm in my third year of biology medicine here at Berman and I am from Langley, BC, which is close to Vancouver. And something that I'm involved in this year at Berman is I'm the Kaya co-director and Kaya stands for Come As You Are, which is the Vespers we have um, every week on Friday. So that's been really fun to be part of just to 
create an atmosphere for students and whoever's in Lacombe just to come and uh, worship God together. I am also a president of a club. I'm the president of the Filipino Cultural Club, which has been super, super, super fun. Um, I've been able to share our culture's food. We do like some calf takeovers and just have like karaoke nights and fun events like that. And I'm also on the women's volleyball team and basketball team, um, which, which is super fun as well. And some other things is that I'm the assistant CVP. So I'm able to help out our communications vice president with running an Instagram page, um, with creating posters. And I'm also part of praise groups. I like to help out when I can, so yeah. Thanks, Jamel. And Maritis. Hi everyone, um, my name is Maritas. I'm a third year elementary education student minoring in PE, same as Jacqueline. Um, I'm from BC as well as Jamel and Jacqueline. Um, I actually got a chance to play against them in different sports. Um, what am I a part of? It's like a long list. <laughs> I try to be a part of as much as I can since you know we're young, we are in university so we get to do as much things as we can. So I'm a part of Senate. Um, I'm the resident center, so anything that has to do with any of the halls, so like Lakey View Hall, Maple Hall, or Riverton. Um, like, if anyone has any questions or anything they want to talk to the Senate about or the BUSA, they can talk to me about it. Um, I'm also part of the volleyball and the basketball team this semester. I'm also a social VP of the Filipino Club and I'm trying to think of anything else with it. Um, oh, and I'm the co-president of House of Praise. Yes, like Mel mentioned, I'm a co-president of House of Praise. Perfect. Thank you, ladies, so much for being able to, to be here and share. Again, for anybody that has any questions, feel free to put it in our chat. Um, but to get the ball rolling, I'm going to ask each of you, um, how easy was it for you to, to start being involved at Berman University? And at what kind of point were you just were you just like, oh, like, yeah, I'll be involved in this and I'll be involved in that in your experience? Okay, I'll start. Oh, Jay, was you to okay. Um, <laughs> it was pretty easy to start. And honestly, the cool thing about Berman is it's really hard to hide here. It's really hard to like stay away from people. So even if you don't reach out looking for leadership, leadership will definitely come knocking at your door, um, metaphorically and literally. Um, there are people who will see a lot more in you than you'll see in yourself. And it's not that they're just trying to drag you into a position. They want to mentor you into that position so that you can thrive the best and then also continue to mentor other people. Perfect. Thanks, Amelia. Anybody else? Yeah, everything Danelia said, copy and paste. Like, it really is just so easy because we're a pretty small campus. And because of that, there's just so many opportunities, whether that be academically, spiritually, um, different uh, ways of leadership like BUSA. You can easily just get involved if you want to, regardless of what that is, how big the position. And like Danelia said, it's either you can find out how to be a leader or somebody will ask you to be a leader. So it's an amazing opportunity. What are, oh, go ahead, Jackie. Oh, I was just want to say it, it's especially easy because near, I think on the first day of school is the welcome back bash where all the clubs, campus ministries, all the professors, everyone comes out and you can sign up for a whole bunch of different clubs there. And you can sign up for, that's how I got involved in Massachusetts Ministries as I went to the ministries table and I signed up and it's, yeah, because you're around on campus, like, you will be get get emails, get knocks on your door saying, "Hey, can you do this? Can you do this?" Like it's an unavoidable, unavoidable. But if you say yes, most often, like it's so such a blessing. I was I was gonna ask the next question is, what was if any of you experienced this? If there was another student that like knocked on your door, sent you a text, gave you a call that said, "Hey, like." I see this in you. Can you tell us a little bit about that story of, of leadership and involvement in that way? Um, well, for me, it was like the first Friday I got here at Berman, literally the first Friday. 
um, one of the alumni or like now alumni came up to me. He's like, Hey, do you want to lead on in praise team um, for Afterglow? I was like, um, not really, but like, nope, you're going to do it. So I ended up doing praise team for Afterglow, which is like crazy. And also that alumni now also mentored me to be house of praise co-president. So they kind of like mentored me into the position that I am now. So, yeah. That's awesome. Anybody else? Uh, for me, it was interesting because I started at Berman online, so I wasn't on campus. However, um, I had been recruited for some leadership opportunities before I actually started, um, even virtually. So that was really weird for me because, like, I feel like these people just are just trying to fill a, fill a position. I feel like they're not being serious. But again, um, the people who reached out did not leave my side until I got here. When I got here, they were still here and they're still here for me now. So that consistency, that legacy that people are trying to instill in other people, that is really beautiful here. Yeah, I think that's one of the, the amazing things uh, about this community. Uh, people can see not just the potential in you, but the things that should be unleashed so that you can gain the most from your experience here at Berman. So I'm going to, to kind of shift gears uh, a little bit and, and ask each, each and every one of you, before you came to Berman, um, what kind of leadership or how were you involved at, at your previous school and how did that help or translate into what you're doing now at Berman University? Um, when I was in high school, I was part of a lot of student associations. I was the president of my essay actually in grade 12 and I was also part of a lot of praise teams and a lot of sports teams and I think um, a lot of what I learned in those leadership positions in school even though they're not as serious because you're literally just like watching over like these 17 year old kids and planning like some random events um, I think just getting into the works of like oh being able to serve even though it's for like a small thing um, whether it be like for a group of 20 people for a, like an assembly, like a worship, or um, playing an event for the high school, whether that just be like a meal or a fundraiser. I think being able to like learn how to delegate, learn how to work together as a team, I was able to translate what I learned from high school and continue on into university with that. Yeah, I was um, in high school, or in my school years experience, I was, I started off being a little bit more shy and I didn't realize all the potential I had um, until I just went for things. And I realized I may personally not have the skill, but I know if I let God work through me, amazing things can be done. And I also realized in high school, um, one of the best ways to love is to be a humble servant and just show that you not only live for yourself, but for others. And so I let that work out and carry out through me in my leadership. I was my senior class is vice president i was volleyball captain i i volunteered um coaching younger kids in different sports and i sometimes went into the position like not knowing if i could do it or if it would work out but honestly just saying yes and being involved and just taking that chance like yeah but you have mentors along the way that'll help you and having that mindset going into berman has definitely blessed my experience here. Here's my next question. How hard has it been to juggle academics with being involved? All of you guys are so involved on campus uh, with so many different things in so many different areas, which is great, but how, how have you been able to, to manage with your academics as well? Go to bed on time. Oh my, staying up. It's actually overrated. I get it. You want to stay up sometimes, hang out with the cool kids. Yeah. But at least two nights a week, please go to bed on time because it just sets the tone for the beginning of your week. And I'm per I'm a morning person. I'm a normal morning person. I would prefer to get up at 4 a.m. instead of staying awake until 2 a.m. So know what works for you in terms of your sleep schedule because your mental state, your well-being will be a big contributing factor to your academics more than your extracurriculars will. Um, so making sure they have a good sleep schedule, I'd say that's one of the first things. 
Just to add on that, just because I found out about it last week, a friend of mine who actually is very intelligent, he has like, his GPA is like 3.5, something above that. I found out that he actually sleeps at 9.30, wakes up at 1.45, and does his schoolwork and studying from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m., takes a quick nap, and then goes throughout his day at school. And he's very intelligent. So I'm just saying, find your specific sleep schedule, what works best for you, and hopefully you'll succeed. I think another thing is like, although we're always involved and we're like very involved, um, finding when to say no. Cause I know that was really hard too for me in the beginning was saying no. Cause I was like, do you wanna do this and this? I was like, yes, yes, yes. It's cause I wanna be involved. But like in order to juggle everything and to stay on task with your schoolwork and your extra progress, make sure you are able to say no. Cause sometimes you don't have to do something. Give someone else a chance to do something, right? So just being able to say no. Uh, yeah, that's a really important one is uh, getting to know yourself and learning how you can balance yourself in the all aspects of life. It's so easy to just constantly like work, 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 or study, study, study. But if you're not balanced, you will burn out in university. You have to learn how to take care of all aspects of your life from spiritual to social, emotional, physical, and academics. Um and that just comes with being able to plan ahead and writing down, okay, this is my schedule. This is when I have time for this and this and this. And sometimes you're going to have to take a step back and be like, okay, I actually need a break. Um, yeah, it's just getting to know yourself is how you can learn to balance everything. So those are, those are very wise words coming, coming from each of you. I feel like I'm going to do a, a low key shameless plug for our Sakala Success Center. So our Sakala Student Success Center uh, is one of the places on campus where students can actually receive all different kinds of help that they might need. Uh, sometimes students don't know it when they arrive on campus, but we have free tutoring uh, available. So if you need help uh, with a class, even if you're like, okay, I know I can get a B in this class, but you want to raise that to an A, go to tutoring. Um, our tutors are definitely there and they can definitely help you uh, with achieving some of your academic goals. And I think that's also part of making sure that you're successful academically. The other thing that I, that I also wanna say is some people don't know um, if they will need this or not, but we have also free counseling on, on our campus for our students, which I think helps to center some of, the, some of our students uh, on our campus. Like they have told me, they're just like, yeah, I'm doing counseling and now I feel like I'm slowly that aspect of getting to know yourself as these ladies have said but also being able to be like yeah I feel like I can conquer more with my day I feel like I can be more involved in certain areas um, that I can accomplish more uh, because counseling has helped make them focus back onto their center um, so that's really cool that we that we have those available for our students and it's free it is free for you as as students as well as we actually have time management um, tools at our Sakala Success Center so that if you needed some of those tools because you're like, I don't know how to manage my time well, um, speak to them. They'll be able to give you some tips. They even send out studying tips for our students uh, once in a while. So it's always great to be able to have that. Um, the last thing that I'm gonna ask our student leaders is what is one piece of advice you would give any student who is planning on coming to Berman or wanting to attend Berman what would your one piece of advice be for that incoming student or that person who might even be on the fence about coming? Um, for me, I, okay, this is, <laughs> I initially didn't want to go to Berman because I was afraid of the cold. BC winters are not winters, you know what I mean? And so I was actually afraid of the cold. And then I also thought, where is Lacombe? This sounds like it's in the middle of nowhere. It sounds like a small school, but I didn't really know Berman that well until I got here. And the because we're not as big as say public schools, um, the family, the community we have here, I have people who are always checking up on me. Um, there's just such a tight knit family. I, people always have my back. And because we're a smaller school, there's actually more opportunities. I know, okay, that's crazy. There's more opportunities because you are able to get involved in so much more things. In other universities, I probably wouldn't have been able to get involved in ministries and sports and choir and leadership and 
this and this and this. Um, Berman provides so many great opportunities and scholarships. Berman is the most affordable university. They really, they really, student finances has helped me out so much. I would say definitely um, Berman is a place where you can make it how you want it to make it. Um, kind of like your university experience is what you put in and what you will get out of it is what you put in, like I said. So if you want to, if you're, if you're coming in the mindset, have an open mind. If you come in the mindset like, oh, Berman's going to be a small school, like everyone's going to know me and then you're not, like not having a positive attitude about it, then you're probably not going to have the best experience of like at Berman. But I know all of us here, we can, if we, if we came in with an open mind, um, we come in like, Berman's going to be a great place. We're going to have opportunities, which you do have a lot of opportunities to serve people and to love on people. Um, and with that open mind, so many great things happen. So many different opportunities get opened. And so the experience you have is awesome. I would say personally, I have had the best experience here at Berman. Um, my, all my siblings have gone through Berman and they all loved it. My dad and my uncle has gone through Berman. They loved it. And the fact is that we're such a small school, like Jacqueline said, we're a family and you keep, you will bring those relationships into your life in the future. I know my dad and my uncle all still have friendships that they made at Berman to this day. And like, they'll call up and be like, Hey, how are you doing? Like, it's not even like besties, but like, they're still friends to this day. And I think that's the best thing ever just having lifelong friends. One of the other things that I'd say is sometimes in life it gets hard and we don't really want to be in certain places. We don't want to be in certain positions. But honestly, one of the most important things that you can do is just show up. Um, so if you do end up coming to Berman, just show up. Even if you're not front stage, even if you're not in every single leadership position, just show up. Because even if you are the only person coming here from your school, even if you're the only person um, who you know here, um can you guys hear that sorry um even if you're the only person coming from your school um you will make friends the first time first day that you step foot on here because no one will leave you alone we will be in your face we will be i will be obnoxious i'm sorry i still have two more years left here so if you're coming i will be in your face so you won't be left alone and there are people who genuinely care and love you here Yeah, and for me, honestly, I don't know if this is advice, but something that I know I've taken and I continue to um, go through with being at Berman is that you're going to grow so much here. It's actually crazy, like thinking about myself from K to grade 12, the person I was then is not the person I am now. And same with being in university, the person I was first year is not the same as who I am now, and the same, even the same person as last year. And it's crazy how, like, for example, I really thought I was an extrovert. Like ever since I was in kindergarten, I was always that really loud person, always in your face, always just talking loud and just wanting to be part of everything. But then coming to Berman, I realized that a big part of me is actually introverted. And I would have never realized that unless I had come to Berman because I'm from BC. So I had to, uh, my, my, my family's not here. Um, and so just realizing things about yourself, you grow so much and it's crazy because you'll go through good times, you'll go through bad times, you'll go through um, good relationships, bad relationship, relationships, but ultimately in the end, like, you'll be so thankful that you chose Berman. Because like Jacqueline, Berman wasn't my first choice, but I'm very thankful, very grateful for everyone I've gotten to meet, all the opportunities and all the people I've gotten to live my life with these past, past three years. Thank you, ladies. I think it's amazing how you know, some of, some of them talk about this was our first choice, this wasn't our first choice, open and embrace. But I think at the end of the day, I'm just so grateful as well, because I learn a lot um, from, from you guys as students. And so I'd like to learn also from those that might be coming in. And again, this aspect of we're here to help you grow, we're here to help you, uh, we're, here, we're here to help nurture you um, into hopefully the person that God wants you to be so that you can go out into this world uh, and be great leaders uh, for God. We, that concludes um, tonight. If any of you have any questions, again, about being involved, about uh, coming to Berman, please make sure that you, that you email info at bermanu.ca or you can email myself, Melody, it's just my first name, M-E-L-O-D-Y at bermanu.ca and we can talk more about how you can get involved here on campus.
we would just like to also remind you to follow us on our different social sites on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram to see what's happening at Berman University. And again, I'm going to do a shameless plug for Ubuntu. Uh, and if you can, please tune in on to our live stream on February 25th at 7.30 p.m. Alberta time. Um, and watch an amazing concert that, that they're going to put on. And you'll, you can be like, oh, man, I'm going to be part of Ubuntu one day. We would love to see it. We would love to see it. Again, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us today. We really appreciate you joining us. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to reach out to your enrollment advisor, Christina or Tanil. Or again, you can email info at bermanu.ca. Have a great night, everybody.